folks, here we are with another uh, Man Cave Media production. Today we're going to be doing a little bit with drive shafts and getting the SCX back up. As you can see, I've taken the stock Wraith shocks and uh, put them over on the SCX to take place of the Integi big bores. But now, with the new drive lines from Axial having the set screws through them, I'm going to have to take a drill bit here and on my output shafts there, and also on my uh, pinion yokes there, I'm going to have to drill holes for the new pins that go through there. So, I'm going to start the process by drilling out these first two output shafts on the uh, hardened steel outdrive first. And we'll cut to that when it's done and have half a drive shaft assembled on both ends. And then we'll get down to another clip on that. So, I'm going to cut it now and we're going to go next uh, clip you'll see is the finished holes with the half shafts attached. Well, as you can see, uh, apparently we've run into a problem here. The uh, We tried uh, everything we could to uh, drill through these uh, outputs and even a drill press wouldn't do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify something here a little bit. I'm going to get this cordless drill or corded drill out of the way by dropping it. Um, let's see, where are they? Looking for the pin. Pardon me, have you seen the pin? No, oh, it's in the drop shaft. I've done this before and it's worked with great success. Seeing how the new ones go all the way through. It's a great idea, but you know what I thought of? I've got extra of these pins laying around, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut off the non-threaded part and just end up with double grub screws on each and the trans both ends of the transfer case and both ends of the axles. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit of work to do to put this back together just to where it's even remotely ready to do the grub screws. So we're gonna clip this one here and next one I'll have the axles and everything all back under the truck, everything buttoned up. And oh yeah, a little preview, might be switching over to these uh, modified uh, Proline hammers for the Wraith instead of using the uh, rock grabbers because I really like the rock grabbers on this truck. But we'll see. Alright, so I've gone and skipped a couple steps. I've got the transfer case slash transmission put back in. Both shafts have been double grub screwed. And I've decided rather than break open a new motor, I'm going to go ahead and use the stock 20 turn that came out of the Wraith. We're gonna go ahead and use that in the SCX. I've got my axles hooked back up, links. Now I'm working on doing the other halves of the drive shafts. Once that's done, we'll be going into just hooking the motor leads back up and then going and swapping the tires over. So in the next video, I'll have the drive shafts completed and starting work on, I'll have the drive shafts and the uh, the ESC hooked back into the motor and I'll be starting on the tires. And as you can see, the uh, SCX uh, big boy is back to its original self with the HPIs. The Wraith, I ran into an issue. I've had the Wraith stock tires on the uh, <clears throat> Project Honcho and then I realized something. I looked at the front and the wheels here inside, that they were actually rubbing the insides of the rims here. So I've swapped back over to the the rip saws and the, uh, hell, what the hell are they called? The uh, Rebel wheels, I guess. The Rebel wheels of the rip saw tires. Never run the Wraith with the stock tires on it. But what I've gone ahead and done so far is I've started, as you can see, and as you can see by that, I'm starting to take every other row of these teeth out so the tires have more grip to them. Isn't that cool how the body lights up like that? But either way, <clears throat> that's going to, uh, I'm going to go all the way around all four tires, profile these. I'll finish the rest of them in the morning, seeing how I just put everything all back together. I've got all three trucks ready to drive on the trail. Um, that's pretty much going to cap this video and uh, next one should be more trail footage. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little uh, montage. Uh, this is uh, Man Cave Media. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe, like. Uh, check out rcsparks.com, visit the forums, and uh, I'll see you guys there.